Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here. And in this tutorial, we are going to be taking a look at a little bit of a security issue when it comes to displaying uh, user input back out in the browser. Okay, so we're actually going to be taking a look at two different functions. One is called HTML entities and the other one is called strip tags. And um, basically, these are just going to help us take care of any HTML elements that the user tries to uh, put in the input boxes. Okay, so if you guys aren't really sure what I'm talking about, or if you don't really understand, um, basically I have an input uh, text box over here, and we've got also got a, a submit button. So if I go ahead and take a look at this in the browser, uh, it basically uh, looks just like this, a text box where the user can type stuff in and a submit button, okay? Uh, and now let's go ahead and just code something out. So I'm just going to make sure that we can display whatever the user types into here. So um, first we have to check if this has been set. So if is set uh, dollar underscore and I'm actually using the get method over here so we're gonna say dollar underscore get instead of dollar underscore post and I'm gonna go ahead and grab that input um, so <laughs> conveniently named I uh, named it input so uh, let's go ahead now and just say okay if it is set let's go ahead and echo dollar underscore get input okay and uh, save this now go over to Firefox click refresh nothing's broken cool uh, so let's go ahead now and actually type stuff in so you know normally if I were to type in my name or something like that and click submit there we go I've got my name displayed out on the page but what happens if I was, you know, being a little bit more malicious and I was trying to uh, break the web page that you uh, made, uh, so I was trying to hack in or something, I might go ahead and type in something like UL and LI, uh, ending LI and ending UL, okay, and actually type something in here like, uh, hey there, or whatever, but you you see what I'm getting at. I'm I'm creating an unordered list in my uh, input box, and now when I go ahead and click submit, oh my gosh, we've now displayed this as a list item. So, um, why wow, like if this was a comment section on YouTube, and, and you know people were able to do this and start making their own styles and uh, you know like um, creating their own lists and things inside of the comment section. You know what I'm saying? It's going to get a little bit out of hand and things are going to go a little bit crazy. So we need to uh, make some way of protecting against this. So if the user typed in those um, HTML elements, we want to either get rid of them or display them as is with the smaller than sign and the greater than sign, etc. Okay, so that is where these two functions come into play, HTML entities and strip tags. Okay, so uh, what we can do now is just go ahead and surround this echo in our function. So I'm going to go ahead and surround these in parentheses over here and we're going to use the HTML entities function first. So HTML entities, okay, and what this function does is strip the or n not strip the tags but um, displays the tags as they are so instead of um, you know the browser printing this out as an unordered list it's just going to print out the actual tags so ul li hey there becomes ul li hey there uh, ending li ending ul so we don't actually uh, display the unordered list as if it were an unordered list in the browser. Okay, 
uh, again let's go ahead and take at the second function over here which is strip tags so type in strip tags and that is it so let's go ahead and click save and uh, we'll go over to Firefox now and just land on this uh, brand new so everything is empty and we'll type the same thing in again so um, ULLI hey there click submit and we've just displayed hey there so it's not displayed as a list and also the tags are not showing so <laughs> that is really cool um, at least uh, we didn't show this or display this with any um, tags okay so it's up to you to decide which one of these functions you'd prefer to use uh, obviously if the user is trying to uh, if you want the user to be able to um, write out HTML tags like say it were a forum or um, you know comment section on a YouTube video like I know some of you guys like to write code underneath some of my videos uh, if YouTube were say using this uh, strip tags function then you guys would go ahead and type out all those tags or all that HTML code and it would all be lost uh, whereas if they were using HTML entities then it would go ahead and display uh, the actual tag elements or the uh, yeah well the tag elements so you guys could actually see them so uh, whenever it is um, whatever website you're programming you just need to choose the correct one for yourself okay and that's all I have for you guys in this video so don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like or share this video it's really gonna help my channel grow and of course I will see you guys next time